11, an attempted burglary is caught on camera. You can see this truck crashing into a Tower District liquor store. This happened around 6.30 this morning at the Food King Market off of Van Ness and Home Avenue. Tonight, police still searching for these suspects. CBS 47's Bailey Miller joins us live from the store to show us the damage. Bailey. Ken, the store owner doesn't even know what these criminals were thinking because he's got guard posts in front of his business. Take a look, though. The truck still drove right through this guard post. It's now knocked down. It kept driving, though, hitting this window, which is now boarded up. But take a look what's in front of this window. Window bars. They didn't even make it through. Mohammed Ahmed, the owner of Food King's Market in the Tower District, is watching over crews cover his storefront windows. I wish it didn't happen in the first place. This after suspects caught on surveillance drive a Chevy pickup into Ahmed's storefront on Thursday morning. They crash over the guard posts and into the windows, but Ahmed says luckily there were rails there. It wasn't here. That, that, car, that truck would be an insider tour. The driver is then seen getting out of the truck. Another suspect walks up too, but police say they realized they couldn't get inside, so they ran. It appears that they might have wanted to attack that building to get to the ATM machine that's inside. The suspects left the truck at the scene. Police say it was stolen from a county island off Shaw Avenue. When the crash happened, Ahmed says he was at home when his security system alerted him, and he knew right away they were attempted robbers. It's hard to read their minds. I don't think I don't think they're thinking when they do that kind of thing. And as for the damage, Ahmed says it will take about ten thousand dollars to fix it. The windows were broken, guardrails in the posts are dented, and the security screens are bent. But he says he won't let this get him down because he loves his business and his customers who are like family. Yeah, we know everybody. Everybody knows us. It's more like a community thing. And police are still searching for those suspects. They do say they got a good shot of the driver in that surveillance video, but they say the other person involved was wearing a mask. But they are searching for both of those. So if you have any information about these suspects or this crime, you're asked to call Fresno Police. Live in Fresno, I'm Bailey Miller, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.